Hey YouTube, this is Cyber King O'Hara here, and I'm going to be doing a review today on iOS 5. Let's look at some of the features. First of all, we, got double, we can double click the home button and push the camera button, and then it'll take it straight to the camera. And what I can do here, instead of pushing the camera button, I can just basically push this little button right here, do that, just took a snapshot. Again. with my finger. Now it's got some new features. You can do some you can do photo editing, make it look better, etc. For example, we can do that. You look at that. I can push edit right here. And I got a whole bunch of options. I've got that. I can turn on ro rotate. I mean, color enhance, rotating it, red eye, cropping. But let's look at notification center and iMessage. Anyway, I'm going to send myself a message. my message. As you can see, send it, I received the message. It says slide the reply or I can just do this right here. Just like that. And the cool thing is when I'm like sending a message When it's like sending a message, you guys will see something. It will it will show when I am replying, just like that. So okay, so we'll do that. That's good. We just send two messages. As you guys will see, it goes into two. That's pretty cool. Slide the reply, just like that. The cool thing is, and even if I can even pull down the push notification center, it'll go right there. It'll show me the weather, six day forecast, and even the stocks. And anyways, let's say I'm like in Google Maps. Looking at my GPS. Let's say I send myself a message. And it'll send right there, right in the notification center, and I can go back to it later on. Like that. So let's say I'm in maps, so I want to go back to my thing. Scroll it down. Go right there, tap that. Boom! Just like that. I love notification center. Possibly the best way to do notifications now. You can even customize them too. Notifications, whoops. It can show you everything. Your game center, Facebook, phone, weather widget, messages, all just all that stuff. It's just it's amazing. Fo notification center really does change everything. Oh yeah, you can even change the way things look. You can like Look at the alert style, go make the old alert th pop up, banners or none. I like the banners the best. I can even do it from, I, from uh, my iPad too. This is my send myself a message to my iPad. like that slide the reply boom and like as and I'll reply 
it'll show when I'm texting back. So it's pretty cool. A few other features I want to talk about. A few other features I want to talk about is you can now do Wi-Fi sync on, in right from the iPhone 5, iPhone 4. iTunes Wi-Fi sync sync now syncing. Step one of four, step two of four. So it's now it's going to show on iTunes what I am syncing. Wi-Fi syncing, guys. This is Wi-Fi sync. And that little arrow right there shows what I am syncing. So what I am doing right now is syncing this from iTunes to my phone, Wi-Fi, wireless, no dot connector needed. How impressive is that? Thank you, Apple. I'm going to cancel that for now. Another feature I wanted to look at is software updates. So we, we can do now, Apple does Delta updates now. So you can sing, so you can do off updates over the phone, over the air, 3G or Wi-Fi. Another feature I want to look at is vibrations. You can turn, you can use go to custom vibrations, go into general, accessibility, vibrations on. Whoops. Custom vibrations off on. So now how do you do that? You go to sounds, vibrations, and you can do your own alerts. You can even make your own example like I did. Here's my here's my example I made. Like this. And you can sign those to anything to anything. Anything. Like you know, if you wanted someone to call you, like different vibrations, so that's that's pretty cool. You can sign different vibrations now to what you want. And you can do like have new customized different sounds now for voicemail, mail, text tones, sent mail, tweeting, calendar alerts, just any of that stuff. So I can do this, <sighs> stuff like that for different sounds. And we're gonna also look at one more thing, which is a feature. It's called Assistive Touch. So what this can do, I never use it, but it allows you to use iPhone if you have difficulty touching the screen. So, right here, click that little button. I can go to Device. It has given me all these commands. So I can do like volume up, volume down. You see in the background, I'll do it. Now you can click lock screen. Click that. Go to favorites. That's pretty cool. So that's like a sense of touch. It's just I don't know something kind of kind of kind of fun to mess around with. You can do FaceTime over 3G. I forgot to do that, show that, but I'm not gonna really show that. It'll waste my data. New usage information. Storage. How much information what's, what's taking up music, apps, etc. Uh, what else is new? Oh yeah, you can change the name of your phone now. All through wireless. Diagnosis can you so just there's, there's just some some new stuff that I really like. Twitter I don't care for. Safari, yes, you can do reader and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not gonna go through that. So yeah. That is some part. Anyways, let's look at it. another feature is newsstand. That doesn't work right now because I guess Apple hasn't activated it yet. Um, oh yeah, another fe weather feature is pretty cool. They can use your local weather. And look at this. If I put my finger right up there, it will give me the hourly by hour weather.
How cool is that? So that's enough of iOS 5 for the iPhone. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's move on to the iPad. I know I didn't talk about all the features, but I talked about most of them. Now let's look at the iPad. iPad for I iOS 5 for the iPad is a little bit different. We'll just view in this way for you guys. You know what? So anyways, here's the notification center again. But notice, you don't have the little wi wi widgets. So you got that. Notification center for mail. Got a notification center where I talked about that. Let's look at Safari. Safari's got some interesting new features. As you can see, they no longer have the little tab, thing, no longer have the little gallery thing, so now you can just do tabs. So let's say I want to go to uh, Google. Next one will go to Yahoo. So, it's, so when that loaded, I'm still in the same thing. How cool is that? Get rid of them, all you do is just tap the X. Oh yeah, another cool thing I want to show you guys is Safari Reader. So let's say I'm reading an article. And reader should sh hold on. Reader should show up. Right there. So I want to read. I want to get everything else in the fire. Quick reader. Whoops! Actually, quick refresh. Click reader. Woo! There's all your whole article without everything else. That is the fire reader. You can adjust the text, the size. That's Safari Reader. Oh yeah, something else is cool. Look at this. We're gonna go to my email, and let's say I'm typing in a, sending an email message. Then sending an email message. Let's say this is too hard for typing me, right? Let's say that it's too hard. So, what if I want to make things easier for me? Well, look at this. This icon, watch this. Watch this. Woo! Woo! See that? So now I can just say, I can type anything I want. I'm not bad at this, guys. Pretty cool. So that's the so you can pretty much now split the keyboard if you guys like thumb typing. New music interface for the iPad. Dang it, can't do can't do air mirroring. I'll just show you guys that another time. Another new feature. YouTube. I don't think there's that much stuff on YouTube. But I think you can do HD in YouTube. I think you can do HD on YouTube. <laughs> nah, I don't see a feature for HD on the here. What else is new for the iPad? Eh, there's not that much for the iPad. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>